Okay guys, so today we're going to be working on Dad's valve covers and also the Edelbrock aluminum intake that we got for his car. We're going to try to get this car, or the engine, buttoned up so we can think about firing this thing fairly soon. Uh, we just got the holes drilled for oil filler and uh, some sort of event, either the PCV or, or event whatever we we go with here i'm not sure what this car has but anyway we got two holes drilled just used an inch and a quarter a hole saw we've got an oil cap we wanted to use a nice chevy one but it doesn't fit in there tight enough so we're going to, have to go with something else the other gasket or the other grommet that holds the Either it'll hold a PCV or a vent. That's tight. So I'll probably have to get a different one that maybe pushes in differently. Uh, it's really thick. I don't know if you can see that, but the valve cover is really thick right there. If it was a little thinner, I think that might grab a hold of it. But anyway, we'll figure something out. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to continue on. Uh, basically, the idea is we're going to paint these the same color as the engine which was actually hugger orange, that's, that's the color the car was going to be. It's not going to be that way no more. There's too many people running that color, so we're going to go with something different. But I ain't going to just paint the whole thing um, orange. I got some tricks up my sleeve to, to make these covers look unique. So Okay, so I got these all cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, when I bought these, I actually sandblasted them so I don't have to scuff these or anything. The sandblasting should have done the, the, the scuffing that needs to be done. We weren't real sure what we were going to do with these, if we were going to polish these out or whatever, but I think we've come up with an idea that we both like. So that's what I'm going to do. First step here, I'm going to epoxy prime these. Yeah, this is an Edelbrock Performer intake um, 2101 I believe is the part number I actually got this used long long time ago I think the the seller actually thought one of these holes was stripped out but all it was was it was dirty so got this and had a pretty good deal and like I said be sandblast sandblasted everything so that should be good enough scuff to start with paint. Uh, we are going to paint this. I know it is aluminum. We're just going to paint it, kind of keep it like uh, factory steel intake. So people don't know. Unless you look close, you won't know. It's a aluminum Edelbrock intake. But it should get a little more power and it's a lot lighter with that intake. So that's what we're going to run on there. And of course these Mickey Thompson valve covers. Again, these are, uh, these are actually brand new. No one ever used these valve covers. Again, I found these on eBay. And they're never used. Picked them up. I don't remember even what I paid for them. But I knew Dad would like them because they're kind of the old school Mickey Thompson. But I got a little deal I'm going to do with these to kind of dress these up. But I like them, he likes them. Kind of got an old school look. So that's what we're gonna run. Well, 
it's primed and they come out pretty good but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow I think to paint these because I don't want to fight the bugs it ain't gonna be long and they're gonna be all over the place so we'll just wait for the daylight much less chance of getting stuff in there so I'll be back at it tomorrow Now the tough part, making it look unique. The intake's done, I just gotta clear that and it'll be ready to go back on. But the valve covers, I'm gonna try something different with them. Well, there we go guys, clear coated I think it looks awesome, dad loves it Now you can see the, the Mickey Thompson logo and the fins are bare aluminum and what I ended up doing there you see in the video I just took uh, some Rolock discs and I cleaned the paint off and then I went over it with a 320 sandpaper very carefully I took quite a bit of time to do both these but I didn't, they're not polished out by no means. It's just uh, the paint's been removed and the aluminum is just shined up a little bit, which is the look we want. Like I said, Dad loves it. I think it looks awesome. Can't wait to see these on the car. We gotta get some gaskets and some other miscellaneous things. And these are gonna be going on the car, so. I guess stay tuned for that guys. 
because this video I'm going to be ending it and I'll see you in the next one.